Hi, welcome to this couch. I'm Dr. Burton. And I'm also Dr. Burton. And today is June 8th, 2017. It's about 5.30 and it's voting day here in the UK. Woohoo! Come on, let's get some votes. <laughs> um, incidentally, before we talk about what we're actually going to talk about, it's also Kanye West's birthday, just in case you're interested. It was a bigger birthday yesterday, but we won't touch on that one. <laughs> let's move on. Yeah. Um, anyway, so today is voting day. We're not going to talk about the policies. I'm sure everyone, at least in this part of the world, is well aware that there are at least three major parties and there are other sort of peripheral parties. Um, if you are interested, they each have their respective manifestos and I think you should make an informed decision. What we are going to talk about is who should be allowed to vote. Today, The Economist has come out with an article saying that the biggest political divide in Britain is age. Massive. Massive. Like, it's going to have an implication. Brexit. Big, big implications. Brexit, the biggest thing that's occurred in my lifetime. Your lifetime. So, currently the voting age is 18 to, I guess, as ever old as the person is. For sure. It's, uh, you know, we're all allowed to vote if you're above the age of 18. My feeling, and probably your feeling is on this, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but my feeling is that there should be a lowered age of vote because 16 probably should be the cutoff to vote. You're allowed to do lots of things at 16. You know, currently, you're allowed to drive a car. You can drive a car. You're allowed to give consent. Right. And you can you, join the military. The military, you're Those protecting just... people's lives at 16, but you, you can't can. vote? Yeah. That makes no sense. No. Nah. We need, to, we need to scrap that. We need to re reduce the age of voting so that people who are able to make those decisions in life, which will affect their future life, um, potentially are able to then deliver that vote and, and cast it accordingly. What about a maximum age of voting? No cap. I definitely think there should be a cap. Mm -mm. I'd cap it at no. about 70, 75. You can't cap anything, man. These people pay tax all the way through their life. Decisions that are made are a lot less, gonna have a lot less influence on your life because your life is unfortunately coming to an end. Irrespective of that, listen, I've lived my life, I should be able to vote if I'm paying my taxes, if I'm giving to society. It is potential things that can affect you in later life. There's You've already seen in, the dementia tax that could well affect you in, later on. There's an imbalance if a 75 year old is allowed to vote and significantly alter the course of the policies that governments will implement well, based I mean, on that vote. One of the things we've heard is that the youth vote is obviously essential and that, you know, the, the older vote they, they can tarnish the youth vote because they can't live as long. Listen, if the youth really were, were really wanting to go out there and well, vote, then they should go out there and vote. it's quite unfair. We've got an over-representation of old people voting and an under-representation of younger people. And hey. fundamentally, younger people are going to be the ones that are have more to lose or they have that's, more at stake that's in true. votes and uh, political parties who are in power. So the two things here is actually having the ability to vote and exercising your right to vote. Well, they don't even have the ability right now if you're under the age of 18. For sure. And so that's why we think you should have that and ability at least. the outcome is a lot more important. Quite true, but we're not With reflecting. longer lasting consequences Quite than true. somebody who's 75. True. I'm not going to argue against that point. It's a fair point. In any case, I think there should be a cap. Well, we've come to the end of our discussion. You're saying no cap. No cap. Heck we no. disagree. Case. I want my vote when I'm 90, that's what I'm saying. You don't need it. In any case, <laughs> it's voting day. I hope you have gone out there to vote. It's about five o'clock, so you've technically got five more hours. Um, vote, vote, vote. Predictions? Prediction. Wild prediction is that it's going to be a hung parliament. I'm predicting conservative majority with slightly fewer seats than what they have now, so maybe I predict that they'll win 331 seats. Wow, that's a bold prediction. So these, these fringe parties will actually matter because there'll be a coalition, by the way. Not fringe, just less established. I'm just, just saying, there's going to be a need for you to go out and vote, so please do it. Thanks. Please comment, share, like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Thanks. Until next time. This is the couch. This couch. This is this couch. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Let's go.